Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add your own customized fields to the customers and jobs, vendors, employees, and item lists in QuickBooks. This lets you create fields that will appear for each record in a list and let you track information specific to your particular business. For example, you could add fields for color, size, and style to your item list to create items with the same general description in your inventory and then differentiate between them by color, size, and style. If you add custom fields to sales forms or purchase orders, QuickBooks will automatically enter the values specified for the employee, customer, vendor, or item you selected if a value was entered. This doesn't mean you're required to use custom fields in forms, however. You could simply add a custom field as a way to record information strictly for your own use. For example, you could use it to record your opinion of a customer's creditworthiness. However you use it, QuickBooks will remember the information you enter into the customized fields when you import and export data and also when you memorize transactions. You can add up to seven customized fields to each of the following lists, customers and jobs, vendors, and employees. You can only create up to five customized fields within the item list. Custom fields that you add to a list are available to every record within the list. You can create custom fields that can appear in the customers and jobs, vendors, and employees lists by opening any one of those three lists, and then either opening the New List Item or Edit List Item windows within the selected list. Within the window, click the Additional Info tab, and then click the Define Fields button at the right side of the tab in the Custom Fields section. Doing this then opens a Set up Custom Fields for Names dialog box where you can create custom fields for all three lists at once. To add a new custom field to a list, click into the first blank row under the Label column at the left side of the dialog box and then type the label for the new field. To the right of that, check the checkbox for each list shown as a column of checkboxes within which you would like this field to appear. A field can appear within one or more lists. Repeat these steps until you have created all the necessary custom fields for the three lists. After you are finished, click the OK button to save your changes and return to the selected list item window. You can then input data into the custom field for the new list entries or edit existing list items to add new data to the custom fields you created. Custom fields are always shown on the Additional Info tab of the New and Edit windows within the Customers and Jobs, Vendors and Employees lists. Adding custom fields to the item list is a bit different from adding custom fields to the other lists. While we haven't examined working with the item list in much detail yet, it is an important list in QuickBooks. You place any item that appears in a QuickBooks purchase order, sales receipt, or invoice into the item list. You can access the item list by selecting Lists, Item List from the menu bar. In the Item List, you can add custom fields through the New Item or Edit Item windows. Select either the New or Edit Item commands from the Item button in the lower left corner of the list to access either window. Once there, you can add custom fields to this list by clicking the Custom Fields button at the right side of the window. Doing this will then open a Custom Fields for Items dialog box where you can enter values for any custom fields you create for your item list. To create a new custom field for the item list, click the Define Fields button to open the Set up Custom Fields for Items dialog box. Type a label for the new custom field into the first available blank row under the Label column. Then check the adjacent Use checkbox for that row. Repeat this process until you have created all of the fields you want for the item list. When finished, click the OK button to create the new fields. You can then enter values into the custom fields for the current item if needed. Click the OK button again in this window to return to the main item window when finished, and then click the OK button again to save the record. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.